My love is everlasting, ever, ever. everlasting to everlasting. Ever, oh, ever. Girl, you make me upgrade my tactics. Oh, how long? Oh, how long are we going at this? How long are we going at this? Yeah, fuck it up, uh, fuck it up. Uh, Your figure. Hello, guys. Welcome to Boxing Block. Set on the home of Nigerian African Boxing. Please, if you're new to this channel. Make sure you click the like and of course the sub subscriber right now. So let's get straight to that station. June 1st is a big night for boxing. A big, big night for boxing. And where will it take place? Saudi Arabia in Riyadh. So rumor reports that that the war will be going against um Philip Ergovich and Joshua could end up fighting the winner for the IBF strap after the undisputed bow between Tyson Fury and um uh, Usyk is concluded. Uh, this match of Rai is, is is interesting. Dubois called out Egovich. We all know that, and Egovich accepted. Egovich basically is high in the Joshua fight because I watched in an interview with True School Sports, and his interview with True School Sports. The guy is like, it's a very interesting guy though. The way he talks. And seems like a guy that is ready to take over the world, but the problem is, I still think Egovich needs to do more. You know. Um. Now, bro, this fight right here is like the water junk fight. It's a dangerous fight for the boy, and it's also a fight he can win. What the hell is going in Saudi Arabia, bro? Is that where the future of boxing is? Bro, these guys are just, they just want to see the best fight the best. Hey, they know what's coming at the end of the day. Everybody doesn't live long enough to see these fights happen. When I make the fights, right? Hey, I have the money. We know UK, these promoters and and we have Turkey Al Sheik who, who can make the fight money, who has the money to bring these fights together. You know, unlike um, PBC, Top Rank, you know, all these other sports, you know, um, ESPN. Eventually, they all they all been falling off one one right after the other, one right after the other. Hey, Amen. It's funny because. I'm thinking about it now. Hey, Teofimo might be probably right. You know, it, it seems like this guy, the, the 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 guys in Saudis are gonna take it over, okay? Because the zone looks like they they haven't even like they, at the beginning they were the ones you know making this shit happen. All of a sudden they just mellowed out and died out. You know, I don't know why, but it seems like that. And you know, it, it just might seem like hey. The so Saudis are going to be the ones completely just taking this over, and the zone is going to be out too. I wouldn't be surprised if Teofimo is right. I mean, look at where we're at now. PBC is down, down and out. Top rank down and out. You know, uh, Queensberry. I don't know the situation that's going on with Queensberry, but hey, ESPN down and out. I don't know if the uh, the zone or or. Or Queensberry's next, you know, Sky Sports. Where are these guys? Nowhere to be found. It just seems like Saudi, the Saudis are the ones properly, you know, making this fight happen. Look, look, look at look at look at the garbage that's going on between Benavidez and Canelo. You know, and that, bro. Let's be honest here, man. 
Yeah. We gotta call we gotta call a duck a duck, you know. If it's quack if it if it quacks and if it quacks like a duck, looks like a duck, it's a duck. You know, we have Canelo over there quacking like quacking like a duck, saying he's not gonna he's not gonna fight Benavides. Well, who's Benavides to him, bro? Benavides has proved that he's right now. Nobody could take him with the way he's been performing. Okay, and Canelo over there, he's he's mouthing off, and he looks like he's gonna duck Benavides. That's what he looks like he's gonna do. That's what he's trying to do. And basically, he's looking like it's gonna be a duck. So it's gonna be a duck. You know, so he's he's asking that Benavides Benavid to come up with two hundred million dollars, bro. Are you serious? So you really don't care about you know proving everybody wrong, but you did get your ass beat with um with my guy uh from this, from 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 this Russian fighter, whatever his name is, I can't remember. Uh, the last guy he fought that beat him up that he thought he could beat, he could beat, but apparently he was telling people that. That uh, he could be Usyk, but uh, bro, that was not the case. Absolutely no way he could be Usyk. Usyk would be way too strong for you. So now, if if you look at it, he 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 uh, Canelo decided that hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna duck that I'm gonna duck that one fighter, you know that that I fought and lost to. Let's be honest here, man. Canelo did duck that fighter, okay, and all of a sudden like. He knows Benavides is a strong guy. There's, there's there's rumors going around that you know that he uh, he did he did uh, 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 that the that Benavides Demetri Bivol. That's why I, I need to remember Demetri Bivol. When Demetri Bivol fought for the uh, um, apparently when they sparred Benavides, Benavides was putting the, the hands on on, on Demetri Bivol. That shows you how strong. Uh, uh, Benavidez is so Canelo looks. Canelo knows, oh man, I, there's no way I'm gonna fight Demetri Bivol and beat him without actually draining Benavidez. He knew he couldn't drain Demetri Bivol, you know, unless they come meet him at a prop uh, weight class where they'll be wagering and be able to fight. So that's why he decided I'm not gonna fight Demetri Bivol. Let's just forget about that fight. And he knows the same. He knows he knows uh, Benavidez is, is 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 a lot tougher and a lot stronger and a lot quicker than 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 uh, Demetrius Bivol. So that fight is going to be dangerous for him. Why would he fight that fight? Of course, he's not going to want to fight that fight. He's going to want to fight Jaime Munguia. Jaime Munguia is, has not even proved to me that he's capable of holding his own, you know, against any top opposition. He hasn't even fought somebody wor worth worth the watch, and all of a sudden he's jumping into the ring. I mean, Munguia has been having issues health-wise for a minute. But all of a sudden, he's back in there and he's trying to fight Canelo. Canelo knows who he's going to fight, and it's Jaime Munguia. Simple as that. But, but let's go back to the topic at hand. These guys are deciding to put the the put to, decided to put the sport of boxing, you know, into into the limelight again. Hey, why should why should why should the uh, why should MMA fans have continuously have fights they want to see? But when it comes to boxing, it's always a, a, a stick in the road. They put Pete, they put Queen, uh, 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 um, Queensberry versus versus Matchroom together. They did that, you know. They made that fight happen. They gave us a nice, decent fight between fighters. But now they let's let's see Dan, let's see Daniel Dubois versus um, versus uh, um, what's this guy's name? I'm sorry, I completely lost the th my train of thought. Daniel Dubois versus. Um, What's his that boy's name? Versus what's that? Uh, uh, Raymond, help me out here. I can't remember that guy's name. Yes, thank you. Now they're gonna put Herkovich versus uh, Daniel Dubois together. Mind you, Herkovich has been waiting to get paid by Anthony Joshua. That's why he's been holding out to fight Anthony Joshua. Hergovich is really uh, not Agovich, much. Hergovich didn't like impress me in uh, on the Janjale fight. The Janjale won that fight, in my opinion. Uh, absolutely, you're absolutely right, bro. It was, bro, you it, know. was it was it was given that fight. It was a gift. No, everybody believes that too. But hey, it, it, I don't know why they did that. But Hergovich, Hergovich took that fight, and we're trying to they're try now they're trying to basically like uh, put Daniel Dubai versus Hergovich. Honestly, it's not much of a fan favorite fight between the two, but 
whoever they fight is gonna be is gonna be Anthony Joshua personally that I think. But hey, they could always mix it up, throw Deontay Wilder in there, Andy Ruiz in there, make it a big, make it start getting those names hyped up enough, you know. While AJ sits, I don't want Andrew Regino is a diva, bro. It is not serious about his career. That guy doesn't take boxing serious. All he cares about his money. So I, I, don't, I think to. I think that's why Saudi is usually Andrew Regino should be in every every people's uh, conversation because he's a very good fighter, but he doesn't take it serious, bro. You know it, what? It, I would it, have to it, agree. It, it, it takes eating seriously than uh, than boxing, bro. He loves to eat. No, you're right because yeah, you're absolutely right because I've actually wondered why this guy has been fighting. He's been making up excuses, you know, and the Deontay Wilder fight was there. And apparently, he wanted, he thought he was a lot more money, bro. It's the AJ effect, man. The AJ effect gets these, gets these guys. But it is what it is, man. These Saudis want to put good fights on. Let's see. It all. It's all about matching. Who, who, who wins between Negovich and Dubois? Who are you rooting for? Uh, let me see. I, I believe um, Dan Dubois has enough skills to take this fight home. I believe he has enough skills. Mm. Yeah. Well, we'll see how it goes. Uh, Egovich is experienced. The guy is, uh, is I think he's an Olympian or something. Um, his, his experience is far more. Um, is it, it outweighs uh Dubois' experience? So, if du, du, the Dubois that showed up against the Ramila not giving up is there, then he, he has a chance to win. But if the Dubois that always quit, you know, whenever the going gets tough, well, it's gonna be another loss for him. Hopefully not. See what happens, guys. A lot of you to subscribe. I really appreciate you guys for supporting the channel. We'll be right back very soon. Stay tuned for my guys. Cheers.